Hi everyone, this is James at dreamweavertutorial.co.uk. I've been asked how one can style a horizontal rule and what selectors can be used in conjunction with horizontal rules. So in this short tutorial I'll cover ways to adjust and style horizontal rules with inline HTML and ways we can also target horizontal rules using CSS. Okay, so here we are in Dreamweaver. I've created a simple testing page so I can add some horizontal rules to it. And I wanna place a horizontal rule between the end of this paragraph and the start of the subheading. So I am going to split the screen in Dreamweaver. I'm gonna highlight the portion of text just at the end of the paragraph, which will give me a reference point inside of the split code view. And I'm gonna type in an open angle bracket, HR, and then I'm gonna close the angle bracket which will automatically close the horizontal rule for us. Okay, so if I click inside of design view or press F12, we'll see that the horizontal rule has been added. It's a little bit too close to the end of that paragraph though, so a simple page break will do. I'll highlight just above the horizontal rule, press shift and enter and add that page break which will give us the necessary space. Now when you place a horizontal rule inside of a div, it will extend out along as far as it can along the horizontal. Now you'll notice a bit of space on either side, the left and the right, that's because there's 20 pixels of padding. So the horizontal rule will obey any padding stipulations inside of that div tag. Okay, so it's time to add some inline HTML styles. Now, there's two different ways that you can um, select the width or input the width, and if we just type in width equals, and I'll type 250, that will be in pixels, and that will adjust the width of the horizontal rule to 250 pixels. Notice the default with the inline HTML styles is to float the horizontal rule in the center of the div tag. Now we can also set a percentage value. I've set 80% width of the div tag there. So you can see that it's obeying that with the 20 pixel padding on either side also. Okay, so I'm just gonna change that back to 250 pixels. Now as I said before, the default alignment uh, when setting your inline HTML styles is to align the horizontal rule to the center of the div tag. Now we can adjust the alignment if we want to, so I'll type in align equals, open and close the quotation marks, and type right, and that will align to the right. We can also choose left, and that will align to the left. Nice and simple there. Okay, now another change you can make in your HTML inline styles is to adjust the shading on the horizontal rule. Now if you type in no shade equals and open and close the quotation marks and then type in no shade into that, you'll notice a very small change when you click inside design view. It will take the shading away from the bottom of that horizontal rule. A very minor change there but some people like to remove the shading from that now if we go down into the bottom of Dreamweaver in the properties panel all of the options are available in Dreamweaver if you're so way that's so way inclined you don't want to use the code view you can set the width using pixels or percentages and the height you can set the alignment and you can add a class to the horizontal rule as well and we're about to add a class to the horizontal rule using um, code view and uh, we'll specify a class to it so we can adjust using CSS Okay, so I'm going to give my horizontal rule a class of main, so class equals main, and this will target any horizontal rule with a class of main and give it whatever selectors I choose. Now my CSS file is called fireworks.css because I designed this testing page in fireworks. Okay, so I'm going to target the main horizontal rule now, so dot main will target any class, so the class of main. Now the first thing I'm going to do is specify a height. Now you can add background colors to horizontal rules. Now you should go three pixels or higher for the background color to show up. Anything lower than that, it doesn't really show up. So we're gonna accentuate it now with 20 pixels of height. Now you won't see much of a change in design view, but if I preview that in Firefox or one of the browsers, you're gonna see it shows up almost like a form input with the height uh, and the width there. Okay, so here is our horizontal rule with 20 pixels of height added to it, and it does look a little bit like a form input there. Okay, so we can also add the background color as well as a border if we want to. Now we'll go into the class main and I'll add the selector background dash color. There 
and I'll select C03, sort of blood red maroony color. Okay, and uh, let's just have a look at that inside of a browser. And there you go, there is our background color. Now, as I said before, we can also add a border to that if we need to also. So if I select border, colon, and uh, we'll set a two pixel dashed black, and that will add a border to the outside edge of the horizontal rule. Now we can also set a width in CSS for our horizontal rule. We don't need to use inline styles and uh, by setting the width inside of the CSS it will override the styles, the HTML styles there. So if I put in 300 pixels of width, we'll notice the default alignment also changes to the left. So it's aligning from the left now and we can nudge it over using a margin dash left attribute if we want to. So I'll set 30 pixels and keep pushing it till you get it exactly where you want it to be. Okay, so this was just a short tutorial explaining how you can adjust horizontal rules and what selectors you can use. I hope you enjoyed it. It's James from dreamweavertutorial.co.uk.